This is the Transportation TV News Update. I'm Tony Dorsey reporting. The U.S. Capitol building is just a few blocks away from the venue for this year's Ashto Washington briefing. Ashto Which President really for 2012 and, uh, Kurt Steidel, director of the Michigan Department of Transportation, Hello. says it's no surprise that nearly 300 attendees are here from across the country. I think the, the attendance this year is up largely because there is so much going on and it is a very critical time for, for you know, the bills going forward uh, and uh, our voices all need to be heard. Steidel says the clock is ticking. On March 31st, the eighth extension of legislation funding the nation's highway and transit programs runs out. Meanwhile, both the House and Senate are hammering out separate surface transportation reauthorization bills. During his keynote address Tuesday, House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee Chairman John Micah, Republican from Florida, told the audience key decisions about the House bill have yet to be made. I did have a conversation with the Speaker last night. Exactly what we're going to do, I want to be perfectly frank, I'm not, I, I can't tell you at this point. We've discussed a, a host of options. My insistence uh, last night was as long a term as possible. The reform provisions uh, we've got to keep in the bill, um, and I'm willing to work with the transit people to see if we can um, uh, try to pacify both sides. Monday's keynote speaker, Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood, touted the administration's transportation funding proposals. LaHood also endorsed the Senate reauthorization proposal, sponsored by Senate Environment and Public Works Committee Chairman, California Democrat Barbara Boxer, and its ranking member, Oklahoma Republican Senator James Inhofe. Senator Boxer, Senator Inhofe, two good leaders, particularly on transportation, passed a bill out of their committee 18 to nothing. It's going to be on the Senate floor. As you're talking to your senators, they're going to be a part of a transportation debate, some on amendments, but some on a, on a bill that, uh, that this, hopefully the Senate will pass. And uh, we don't know what the House is going to do. President Steidel says there was a common message delivered by both Secretary LaHood and Chairman Micah. Well, I really heard we, we shouldn't be waiting to next January or March or some other time. We need to get it done now. We need to get this stability in place and provide states that flexibility to, to use the funding, know what funding's coming, and then, and then the ability to address the issues that we have in individual states. When state officials weren't visiting their lawmakers on Capitol Hill, they were learning from the nation's top transportation leaders. Four U.S. DOT modal administrators took part in a panel discussion Monday, and FAA acting administrator Michael Huerta delivered the day's luncheon address. Republican Senators John Hoven of North Dakota and Louisiana's David Vitter also briefed attendees during the four-day conference. This is an extremely well choreographed conference, just packed with tons and tons of information. Uh, so I see it from a little different perspective now sitting as the president uh, and, and presiding over all of these different sessions that are going on. Uh, and uh, it's very busy, but it is extremely informative. I, I give a ton of credit to the, to the program staff that put this together. To watch a short video of photographs from the 2012 Washington briefing, click on this thumbnail on the Transportation TV homepage. That's the update for this week. Thanks for watching.